Hey, Second View One Math Prodigy, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery. And today we're going to move into the final question of your algebra assessment paper. Okay, first things first, this question is a little challenging, I would admit it, but it's not impossible. In fact, I find it very easy. <laughs> okay, but then again, that's me. Again, I'm very prepared and I believe in myself. <laughs> Do you? Okay, so let's first go into the question. Let's read the question first. The question says, Tom cycled for D kilometers at a constant speed of 16 kilometers per hour. So straight away, I know I have to draw a timeline. And then he walked for three quarter of an hour to reach his destination. Okay, simple. The total time taken for the whole journey was D minus 3 over 8 hours. Okay, I know for some of you, it might be mind-boggling. But first, let's just look at this um, uh, as a timeline. Let's draw a timeline so that it becomes easier for you. So let's draw a timeline. Tom cycled for... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, Tom cycled for from here all the way to here. And he traveled for the first D kilometers. I mean, I don't know where it is, so I'm just gonna put D here. So I'm gonna draw for you D. For the first D kilometers. And he traveled for how long? <laughs> Let's take a look. He traveled for speed at a speed of 16 kilometers per hour. So 16 kilometers per hour is his speed. Okay, the next one it says that. Um, and then walk for three quarter of an hour to reach his destination. Three quarter of an hour is here. Therefore, this is the time taken. Is three quarter of an hour. Three quarter of an hour to reach his destination. Destination. The question says the total time taken for the whole journey was d minus three over eight. So the time taken for the whole journey is d minus three over eight. D minus three. Um, no space. D minus 3 over 8 hours. Okay, the question, the first question says, write down in terms of D an expression for the time he spent cycling. So again, let's take a look at our DST table. The time taken for something is simply have to take the distance and the speed. So for part A, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Your distance is D. Let's say just put time taken equals to. Uh, distance is D. And your speed is 16. So that's the first answer, D over 16. So the answer is time taken is D over 16 hours, okay? Now for part B, it says, uh, form an equation in D and solve for D. Form an equation in D and solve for D. Now they actually give you, they've already, already given you a very big clue. They give you D minus 3 over 8 hours is the time taken for the whole journey. And for part A, they ask you to find the time taken for this little part of it. If you know it's d over 16 and you know this is 3 quarter, what can you say? d over 16 plus, this is the time taken for the first part, and the time taken for the second part is 3 quarter of an hour. <laughs> Equals to what? Equals to d minus 3 over 8. So now from there, we got our expression. All we have to do is use our ability, our, our, our harness ability to create an equation to solve this question. So basically, this is just, um, uh, what's that called? Manipulation. So D over 16, we must make sure that the rest of it follows the, uh, what's that called? The denominator. So in this case, we times 4. 3 times 4 gives you 12 over 16 equals to D minus 3 over 8. You must times what? You must times 2. So let's just do it mentally. 2D minus 6 over 16. So that's the answer for... <laughs> For this part over here, and that's not the final answer, but this is how we get there. Now, when you get something like this, what you can do is, you when you're solving, when you're solving, when you have left hand side and right hand side, uh, what happens is you can actually eliminate the bottom if the denominators are all the same. Why? Because at the end of the day, you just times sixteen to both sides anyway. Okay, so all we have to do is just take d plus twelve equals to two d minus six. And from here, you can solve it. So 2D, I'm going to bring over the D from here to this side. So it becomes D equals to 12 plus 6 gives you 18. Therefore, the distance actually equals to 18. So that's part B. Very simple. Now, the next part says, Hence, find in hours and minutes to the nearest minute the time taken for the whole journey. So if D is equal to 18, uh, time taken for the whole journey is actually D minus 3 over 8 hours. So we just multi, uh, what's it called? Uh, sub d equals 18 into equation. So what we get is, therefore, uh, d minus 3 actually equals to 18 minus 3 over 8 hour. 
So time equals to d minus 3 equals 80 minus 3 gives you what? 15, 15 over 8 hours. So to get that, we just take our calculator. That's my calculator. Oh, that's what it was deleted. So I'm going to use my calculator. Um, 15 divided by 8. Hold on. Eh? 15 divided by 8 equals to 1.875 hours. In other words, 0 0.875 times 60 gives you what? Hold on. Eh? 0 0.875 times 60 and it's going to give you 52 and a half minutes. So the question asks you to, to answer in minutes and seconds, right? Uh, to the nearest minute. Hours and minutes. So therefore, it's actually 52 and a half minutes gives you 53 minutes. So the answer is actually 1 hour and uh, 52.5 minutes. To the nearest minute, therefore, approximately 1 hour and 53 minutes. And that's the answer. So again, like I said, algebra is easy. Everything is easy if you believe in the work. <laughs> believe in hard work and believing in yourself. That's the second part, okay? So again, I'm going to leave you with this simple, simple equation for success. Believe in you. And this is Coach Saifu signing off saying you are a math prodigy. Good job.